Oh, we got one on. We got one on. Right off that dock leg. That's a good fish. That's, a, that's not going to be a flounder. Uh-uh. Don't get around that dock. Don't get around that dock. What's going on, y'all? I am out here today on the Hobie Pro Angler. Got my buddy Sean Varun up there. And today, we're going to be doing some flounder fishing. And I'm just going to basically be going through a bunch of tips and things that I do to catch these flounder. Uh, so, yeah, without further ado, we're going to get out here, try to target these fish, see if we can put some in the box. All right, so I am going to start off this morning throw in the southern salt hoodwink this is our white mineral of death this is my own personal lure and it is absolutely killer for flounder i'll link those down in the description if you want to pick some of those up but yeah that's what we're going to be doing throwing it out there basically going to be targeting some grass lines just like this and we're just going to be jigging up around that grass there's flounder right now are laid up tide is perfect and uh they should be staged up on the edge of this grass got them you bit swimming with it and here we go there we go that's a decent fish that's a flounder there we go first fish of the morning I said it was decent. <laughs> it is a flounder though. The intended species. That joker was laying down on me. There he is, y'all. First flounder right there. Just flipping around this grass. That's where they're laying down at. Go ahead and pop this hook out of her. Come here. Think it's gonna be a little too small to keep. Gotta be 14 here. And we're allowed to keep five of them pop her on the board real quick she barely touches 14 that would be 14 yeah barely touches 14 right there i'm gonna go ahead and let this girl go she may shrink a little bit and i think we can find some much bigger flounder than that right there but that is our first fish such beautiful guys these are one of my favorite fish to target right here awesome fish to catch even better to eat yeah see you later dude bye bye all right so as you can see here we're fishing a marsh grass system and really the only time i want to fish an area like this for flounder is on a high tide we're at the peak of high tide right now we really don't have too much tidal movement at all which definitely helps when you're flounder fishing uh but fishing areas like this i need that water to be flowing up in that grass if I can see the root systems in the grass because the tide fell out, then I want to kind of stay away from those areas, maybe fish some deeper structure, docks, rocks, stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much the deal, fishing a high tide right here. And we're just paralleling the bank, coming down the bank, trying to keep our lure in the strike zone as long as possible. And that's pretty much going to be the deal for the day, I do believe. We're going to get in here and try to find us some bigger flounder. We're on. Still got weight. There he goes. Another flounder. Not too big, but that is flounder number two. Pretty much sticking with the same pattern right here. Little guy. Probably about 12 inches or so. Go ahead and let him go. Show y'all real quick kind of what we got going on. Just fishing an eighth ounce jig with, like I said, that's a Southern Salt hoodwink and a white mineral of death color. But longer bait has a ton of tail action right there. So when I flip it out there around that grass, all I'm doing, letting it get down and I'm just bouncing that guy back to me. And I'm keeping that tail fluttering. And it's just triggering those flounder to bite. Pretty much the only retrieve I use whenever I'm fishing for flounder is where I'm just jigging it. Just like that, rapidly back to me. Give it a slight pause to reel in my slack and just keep it moving.
Oh, he bit. There he is. There he is. Flounder number three. Another little guy. Still looking for the big ones. He came right off of this seawall right here. Some rocks and riffraff and stuff. A little bit of structure he was hanging out on. Little guy number three. Still looking for the big ones. We'll find them. Y'all just stick with us. We will find some bigger fish. All right, so we're definitely on fish. We have not been at it long. We've caught three flounder now. There will be more to come. We're gonna put some fish on the stringer, but check it out, y'all. I have a full-blown flounder course on Patreon. I'm gonna link that up here. That's everything you need to know A to Z about flounder fishing. If y'all are looking to get better at flounder fishing and get on more fish, be sure to check that out. It also helps support me uh, and helps me continue to put out this type of content. So I do appreciate y'all going over there, checking that out. But anyways, let's get back to it. Try to find us some more fish. Oh, we got one on. We got one on. Right off that dock leg. That's a good fish. I see, that's not gonna be a flounder. Uh-uh, don't get around that dock. Don't get around that dock. Oh no, no. There we go. Come back. Oh, this little old red fish was dogging on me. Tried to get me around that dock. I wasn't going to let him. Boom. Well, the great thing about flounder fishing is you will often catch red fish as a bycatch because they're out there. The tactics are very similar. Dang, dude just took a dump right on my leg. Tactics are very similar to catching these guys. I'm not planning on cooking any redfish, so I am going to let this guy go. You want a redfish? All right, dude. Appreciate the fight. We'll see you. Bye-bye. All right. Well, let's see if we can't get back to finding some more of those flounder. That was fun, though. Oh, that was a dump. That was a good one. There he is. That's gonna be another flounder. Ah, uh, no, it's a trout. Dang. Well, that would have been our slam right there. I mean, that trout absolutely slammed it like a flounder and got off. Y'all, I promise I'm just trying to catch flounder, catching red, catching trout. It's a crazy thing. You got all these bycatches of bouncing around shoreline and stuff like that with jigs. Awesome, you never really know what you're gonna catch. So the setup that I've been using today is a Daiwa Tatula Elite Reel. I do have 20 pound test on this to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, kind of already talked about the, the jig and setup, but um, running an eighth ounce Southern Salt screwball jig head. These are our jig heads available on the website as well. And then that's the Southern Salt hoodwink in the white mineral of death color. Uh, but this rod is a Chubby Rods medium fast action uh, and it's a 7.2. So it is absolutely perfect for coming in here and uh, targeting flounder, redfish, speckled trout with jigs. It's one of my favorite jigging rods for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the setup that we've been using today. And uh, we're gonna get in here and see if we can find some more. It's been a little slow. It's died off. The fog has kind of cleared up. Sean has been kicking my tail though. <laughs> he has about, I don't know, about 10, 12 fish in the boat already. Uh, but he's been fishing a little bit slower than me and that might have been the key for him today. 
So we've been out here targeting flounder, but I'd love to hear from y'all. What is y'all's favorite flounder lure? What lure out there have y'all had the most success with, with targeting flounder? I'd love to know your feedback, comment below. And uh, yeah, let me see what y'all are using. All right, y'all. Well, the wind has just kicked up like crazy out in the main river. Finally caught up with my buddy Sean here. Y'all, Sean kicked my teeth in today. How many flounder do you think you caught? <laughs> nine. I caught three and uh, I missed a couple. I missed a couple. He caught nine flounder, a speckled trout, a decent redfish. He just had a really, really good day. And what are you throwing today? So, look, we were throwing the same lure. The only difference is that he was fishing significantly slower than I was. I love to get through and just kind of burn grass line cover down on a ton of water he was a little bit more patient slowed it down we pretty much fished the same pattern he actually fished behind me most of the day picking up fish that i left behind so uh maybe that's kind of part of it is is just sometimes you got to know when to slow down pick an area apart i don't know it's just different fishing styles and it definitely worked for sean today but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all did hit the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time